Hello and good day to all of you again. So we are on our uh, second problem under the uh, topic of uh, Power Systems 2 or lesson Power Systems 2 on fault calculations. Okay, so if you want to get a copy again of the problems, you can go to the description tab of this video and then from the, the uh, from that description tab, <clears throat> you can see the link of the problems and practice the problems of uh, of the supplementary problems so that you can master the subject matter okay let us uh, uh, read the problem first actually uh, problem number two is a former board exam problem okay here's the problem a 3 mva 34.5 13.8 kilovolt three phase transformer has a 5.75% impedance. It is operating without a load at a rated voltage when a three-phase fault occurs at the secondary terminals. Assuming the primary is connected at an infinite bus, find the fault current in amperes. So based on the problem, you can see here I already have the solution and please take note this is a problem on, on fault calculations definitely and the uh, solution that we will use is the six point algorithm again and based on the problem there's only one impedance that is uh, uh, is being uh, given or stated on the problem which which is that 5.75 percent so first we need to know on the uh, single line uh, on the uh, six point algorithm is we need to draw the single line diagram so here it is a loaded condition but in this case uh, the fault occurs at the secondary terminals here okay there's no load actually that is being uh, given but we can assume of course that is a loaded condition and it will open because of the uh, of the uh, uh, presence of the fault although there's a load here definitely but it will not uh, uh, short circuit or it will not be connected to the reactance diagram in computing on the computing fault. Now, we have the 3 MBA 34.5. The fault point occurs at the secondary terminal of this uh, transformer, which is, it is clear on the, uh, on, on the problem. No, it is not stated in that step, step up or step down. So, you have the primary, secondary, fault point here, and that is the short circuit current. We have a 34.5 by 13.8 kilovolt uh, voltage. By the way, uh, it is not con uh, uh, it is not considered also the MBA short circuit. Definitely on a utility, on a utility, there all there is always an MBA short circuit. However, in this problem, there's no MBA short circuit. Therefore, your former XTH is uh, is negligible, or simply we can assume that is approximately equal to zero. Now, letter B, we need to have, or the uh, second on the, uh, on the uh, six-point algorithm, second procedure is, we need to have a common S base, or your favorite number, or your forever number. Your MBA, uh, our MBA base, I use here now three, so that we can simplify things up. So, how can we simplify the calculations? Okay, now in this case, there's a technique I can share with you again. This is the so-called CS method, not counter-strike, ah. okay? But common sense method. When I say common sense method, this method is used when your V given is equal to V based and S base is equal to S given. So it means whatever your S base, that is also your given. And when you have a V base equal to V given, when you place a full point, your operating or your or rather your um, <clears throat> um, pre fault voltage rather is simply equal to one because v base and v given are equal so if that will be the case as you can see from the forever formula okay we can have the v given and v base here and s base and s given it's not zero but they're equal to one and thus the common sense method is 
your x new is equal to x old. It means that whatever you're given is, that will be your new value of your impedance or reactance or resistance. Okay, now in this case, well, we have no other choice but the 5.75 is the uh, percentage impedance, not the evidence. But oh, obviously, the answer will be uh, 5.75 as well. But in this case, uh, the percentage impedance is 5.75, which is also our RTH. Although it is not mentioned, your transformer must be an inductive, uh, uh, inductive component or inductive uh, equipment. Yes, that is true. But we are just following rules or on the given. It's not mentioned that the percentage impedance is J, right? So instead, I use 5.75 as purely resistive. But anyway, if you want to use J, no problem. There's no harm here. What? Just, just what will just happen is your RPU will have a bar angle of negative 90 but as I have mentioned on the last problem uh, our main goal here is the magnitude part only so yeah you can use J or R but in my case that is the given so I use R instead so the only difference is X and R alone there is ja, there is ja, there is a J component Okay, in this case, no, uh, use uh, resistance. Okay, so the reactance diagram. Okay, we uh, short circuit all your sources, and then uh, place it on your common reference and uh, model it as uh, as a your impedance or resistance. But in this case, there's no MBA short circuit, so automatically your uh, uh, Utility voltage is zero in this case without any former uh, impedance or former uh, Thevenis reactance. And then your RTH is 0 0.0575. And you need to measure this Thevenis here at this point N to A. And get the uh, IPU or simply your Norton's current. Okay, your RTH is common sense. This is your terminus A and N or FN. So, RTH, which is equal to RFN, resistance, is 0 0.575. And then, get the per unit current, considering a linear system, and your uh, per unit voltage at the Thevenin's is, is 1, rather, simply because V given is equal to V base on the secondary side. They are both 13.8. So, 1 over 0 0.0575. Uh, the answer is 17.39 per unit. And get and then get I base three m or three million over square root of three thirty point eight k. The answer is one twenty five point fifty one. By the way, I forgot to mention. So this is a uh, uh, procedure number three. Procedure number four: get RTH. Procedure number five: uh, get IPU and I base. And last but not the least, on the six point algorithm, algorithm. That's why it is six point because this is the sixth procedure. Get IC, ISC three phase by multiplying I base by IPU. The answer in this board problem is approximately 2182.6. If I'm not mistaken, but we can round it off to 2183 amperes. Okay, now let's move forward to unsymmetrical fault calculation problems. Okay, so we are on our problem number three on an topic uh, uh, lesson number five power systems two on fault calculation so this is a, it is this is rather a board problem board exam problem so let us uh, read the problem first a certain point of a power system network has a positive negative and zero sequence impedances which are in per unit so we have 0.25 in per unit 0.25 per unit and 0.3 per unit respectively now the base mba is 100 the voltage level at the point at that point is 34.5 kilovolt determine the single line to ground fault if the system is solidly grounded which means when you say solidly grounded there's no impedance reactor or impedance to neutral so that's it so Question is, what is the ISC single line to ground fault? So for this, we need to have the given first. We have 30 MBA, 11 KB, and then 
you have the per unit values of x1 and x2 is definitely they are the same so they are 0.25 and x o per unit is 0.3 now to have a uh, in order to uh, use the uh, formulas that we have described on the unsymmetrical fault formulas we need to convert it to percent so it's it's clear you have 0.25 you have 25% you have 0.3 you have 30% now, if you can still recall the Heroes 3 formulas, and please take note our basic mnemonic on uh, on our favorite anime, which is Ghost Fighter, that isang daang porsyentong tagura. Ah. So, if there is 100, all of the parameters of your reactances must be in percent. So, in this case, pre pretty clear. There's 100 there, and then all of the reactance is in percent. So, the formula is you have 3, heroes there x1 x2 and x0 so isc single line to ground is you have three heroes there ifl is the i base which is definitely s base over square root of three b base times 100 all over percentage x1 x2 x0 and there's no zn simply because the connection is solidly grounded however if there's a impedance to neutral reactance you need to consider it on the calculation part so thus Direct substitution, you have 3 times 100 million all over square root 34.5k times 100 all over 25 plus 25 plus 30. Now, if you evaluate this, the answer is 6,275.73 amperes. So, again, kapatid, chipips, as long as you know the formulas, you know the mnemonic, and how to analyze it or apply it, you can easily solve any problems on the open circuit condition so let us move forward to problem number four hello and good day to all of you so we are on our last problem for the fault calculations under the lesson power systems 2 okay we are on problem number four and let us read this problem so a three phase 11 kV uh, 30 MBA turbo alternator a positive equal to the negative reactance of 0.15 per unit and a zero reactance of 0.2 per unit calculate the zero sequence component of the line current ia for a double line to ground fault okay so before we solve the problem let us have the given the basis is 30 mba 11 kb uh, the given here is in per unit but are you already uh, considering it to uh, to uh, to convert it to percent so you have x1 is equal to x2 which is the positive and negative are the same 0.15 which is simply equal to 15 percent you have an xo prime now on a double line to ground fault if you can still recall k our uh, main formula no for isc dlg and solidly grounded as assumed on the problem there's no given so x o prime is equal to x o which is 0 0.02 and thus it will become 2 percent if that is in percent so recall our formula there on the dlg on our uh, heroes formulas that the main character is x2 and you have the cumulative sum of the three impedances so it's like transforming delta to y right or y to delta so you have three times the base current you have a taguro and there's all of the reactances are in percent so i mean um uh, point person here or the uh, character is x2 and then do the cumulative sum x2 and x1 x2 and x o and x1 and x o respectively so x o prime is simply equal to x o here because there's no impedance to neutral so substitute all of the values here for isc dlg so you have 3 times 30 million over square root of 3 11k times 100 times 15 and then 15 times 15 plus 15 times 2 then plus 15 times 2 the answer is 24861 but this is not the final answer this is what i meant you know, on our discussion you can go back to the discussion of uh, of the uh, unsymmetrical faults and symmetrical fault concepts that it's not always the short circuit current that is being uh, or the required but you need to get the components as well no, of the currents it can be ia it can be ib 
It can be IC or even the terminal voltages. But in this case, IA0 is equal to ISC DLG, you divide it by 3. And thus, the answer is 8,287 amperes. So that will wrap up or end our discussion for symmetrical faults. So what you will expect on our next lesson. Our next lesson, guys, is transmission lines or transmission and distribution or tradis or simply tradis. So maraming salamat sa mga sumuporta and to those who subscribe and viola. Let us see each other on our next lesson. Thank you.